I don't really know how to start, but I'm gonna start. Recently, I've become really a little bit kind of even fed up, which is unlike me, with people making all sorts of comments and predictions and especially emotional uh, comments about the Brexit. And I mean, stop doing this. How, stop saying that, oh, this is gonna be good or this is gonna be bad, because how do you know? It's not a simple science experiment where you can actually uh, I don't know, put uh, salt in water and say, yeah, I'm, if I'm gonna stir it, the, the salt's gonna dissolve. It's, it's a very complicated thing. We don't know when it's gonna happen. We don't know how it's gonna happen and what conditions. We don't know what's gonna happen in the world in the meantime. You know, no one can predict what's gonna happen. No one's gonna predict what's good or bad. You know, maybe in two, three hundred years time, people will look at, um, at the events and they will say, well, it was good because this, this, this and that, and it was bad because this, this and that. But right now, you cannot just say, oh, it's bad, or yeah, it's good, you know, myself. I'm actually pleased with um, EU leaving uh, the, EU, um, the e <laughs> European Union. Uh, and people get kind of confused. So I don't want you to be confused. People get confused and they confuse UK leaving EU with UK leaving Europe. One has nothing to do with the other. And, and it's it just very simple, you know. Uh, some people think that, oh, it's all about immigration and I'm a foreigner and I feel unwanted. Well, stop being, you know, so sentimental. It's not about you. You're not the center of the world. You know, for some people it's about immigration, but for other people there are other reasons, economical reasons, you know, the, the sanctions the European Union has put on various things, like the there are many industries like the fishing industry or steel industry in the UK that's been affected or even de almost destroyed by the European Union. So for them it has nothing to do with um, immigration. Um, also, there are political reasons, and for me, myself, political reasons are the most important things. You know, European Union is not like an agreement between governments to act in a certain way. European Union is actually an institution, an institution that's based in Brussels, that has usurped so much power that it's just ridiculous. It's a corrupt institution, it's anti-democratic, totalitarian, with no accountability, 40,000 people work for the European Union and 10,000 of them, they make more money than David Cameron. That's ridiculous. And you know what? We kind of all pay for this. You know, our, the governments of all the European Union countries, they pay money to European Union. You know, and the European Union then decides what to do with that money. And usually they actually give themselves pay rises and bonuses and other things before they actually start doing anything uh, important with that money, so to say. You, if you have, let's say, in your country you have a government and you have certain control over that government, it's limited, but you have. You can, uh, for example, not vote on that party in the next elections. With European Union, you have no say whatsoever. They elect themselves, you have no control over it. Moreover, there is no accountability. No one can go to European Union and say, hey, mate, why did you do that? Why did you do that? They will just say, whatever, go away, leave us alone. You can't do anything to them. Um, European Union needs to be disbanded completely or uh, reformed. But <laughs> from experience, we, we can predict that the reform is not going to happen because it would need to be like a major reform. So that's not going to happen. So the only way out of the situation I see myself is, is simply through Brexit. So hopefully other countries will follow suit and they will also leave European Union and the European Union as an institution, not as, a, as an idea, will actually disappear, it will just dissolve because it will go bankrupt hopefully. Uh, and a new one, something new will come up, hopefully better than, than, than this one. And again, we don't know if it's gonna be better or, or, or worse. We can only hope that it's going to be better, but what it's going to be like, we don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. You can't know for sure. And, and also, who decides what's good or bad? For some people, it will be good. For others, it will be bad, you know. So whatever ideas you have, good for you. 
keep them for yourself. I mean, feel free to speak up, but don't be so emotional. Don't be so righteous about them. Like, you know for sure, oh, this is so bad. Yeah, God told me I had a dream and God was talking to me and he told me, yeah, this is gonna be bad. You need to tell everybody that it's gonna be bad. You need to scare them, you know, or, or whatever, because that's gonna help them if you scare them and if you become righteous, it's gonna make things definitely better for everyone. But God forbid, don't be quiet, don't be nice to people because that's definitely not gonna help anyone. It's gonna be bad, you know. Just guys, just just stop it, you know, chill out, chill out, you know. If there's something you don't like, do something about this, but don't be righteous about that, you know. You you have <laughs> well, you have a right to do whatever you want, but you don't know anything for sure, and you can be right maximum 50%, maximum. And most of the time we are wrong, you know. The maximum you can hope to be right is 50%. But how many, in, how many times in your life you thought you were right and it turned out that you were wrong or even totally wrong? I mean, it happened to me really lots of times, you know. And obviously that has taught me a good lesson. And now I know that even if I'm right, I'm not going to say that I'm right. I'm just going to say something like, yeah, well, it seems to me that things are this way or it appears to, to me to be a bit different, or I believe that actually this is the case. Uh, this And that's it. And there are no kind of emotions behind this because there are no good guys, there are no bad guys. You know, everybody just wants to live their life. Okay, so focus on your life, do whatever you think is best for you, you decide what's best for you, and chill out. Okay, it's gonna be good. Brexit is gonna be good. Even if it's bad, it's gonna be good. So stop being confused about Brexit. It's not about you, okay? It's not about you. It's about many other things and for everyone it's something different, okay? So I hope that was helpful and feel free to talk to me uh, through the comments here or on, on Facebook or actually Facebook, I don't go there very often, but anyhow, uh, anyway, you can do Facebook, you can do YouTube or you can call me if you have my phone number and, and let's have a talk about that, you know, if you want, if you want more if you just want to talk to me about this, yeah? Okay, guys, thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Take care.